Remember when porn was simple? Well, it fucking is not anymore because of this person. We can't actually show you a picture of them because no one knows who they are, but basically they decided real celebrity sex tapes weren't good enough anymore and made an accessible version of existing technology nicknamed deepfakes. And now the way they make fake porn videos could be used to make fake political videos, and that could destroy the very concept of the truth. Let me explain. The internet is slowly just becoming a flaming house of lies, and I'm sure you knew this already, but you shouldn't believe everything you read online. More importantly, now you can't believe everything you watch online either. Instead of using their coding skills and soulless determination to create tech that could actually benefit the world, the perverts of the internet instead created an artificial intelligence that generates digitally face-swapped fake porn. And now these AI systems aren't just being used to flood the internet with fake porn, there's a risk they could be used to spread fake news. But let's back up a second. Deepfakes aren't new. Digitally manipulated images have been around since the beginning of the internet, but they came to our attention last year thanks to the reporting by motherboard Sam Cole. Sam, shout out to you. They've been around in their current most sophisticated iteration since the end of 2017. They have evolved though from the Photoshop stills advertised on websites that were 100% guaranteed to kill your entire computer to something way, way more insidious way beyond printed out pictures you showed your friends after school before your parents came home when you were 14. Dad, I am sorry, the gateway crashing was, it was my fault. The first of these new videos appeared on a subreddit for celebrity fakes, not unusual, except for the fact that these were much more realistic than their previous counterparts. So much so that they were convincing people they were real. Female celebrities like Daisy Ridley, Gal Gadot, and Scarlett Johansson were among the first victims. Deepfakes went on to create a subreddit named after themselves to spread their newfound know-how. An app was created that allowed anyone on the internet without a computer science background to create their own fantasy or revenge porn, opening the gates of hell for incels and ex-boyfriends alike to ruin lives as they see fit, which should definitely be illegal. And then from porn to politics. Thanks to Jordan Peele and BuzzFeed, we've already seen the potential this technology could hold for our political system. President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Now, you see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. This is incredibly problematic because with the ability to alter the words of world leaders, you can literally manipulate the news as it happens. In May of 2018, a Belgian political party created a deep fake of Donald Trump saying on camera, As you know, I had the balls to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement, and so should you. And when it began to spiral out of control and go viral, which just shows how gullible people can be because this video was some shit, the political party took to personally responding to comments assuring the video was indeed fake as hell. And at the same time, when incriminating but real photos and videos surface, as deepfakes get better, it could allow politicians to lie and deny that compromising photo or video actually happened. And in case this all isn't terrifying enough, here's Steve Buscemi's face on Jennifer Lawrence's body. This was very truly surprising for me. Um, yeah, that's right. Steve Buscemi is kind of hot, and you can't unsee that. And in an era where fake news spreads like wildfire, it's worth mentioning that earlier this month, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was the victim of a plot to spread a so-called nude photo of her. The image was actually of someone else, and it took a foot fetishist from a site called Wikifeet to debunk the photo as fake. And you might think this is dumb, but it's the latest in several attempts to try and preemptively ruin the first time Congresswoman's career as she's shown herself to be a radical opponent of the Republican Party. And that's all over a photo. But before you go double check all your retweets to make sure you aren't a part of the problem, you should know that people are trying to do something about this. The subreddit r slash deepfakes has been banned by Reddit, and websites like Twitter and Pornhub are attempting to develop algorithms to detect and remove these videos from their platforms. DARPA is investing money in this too. They're working with some of the smartest tech programmers in the country on detection software. The problem is that these dudes working on the forensic side are seriously outnumbered, and the techniques to actually make this shit are far outpacing the detection schemes. Essentially, these videos are getting better, 
The well-executed ones are getting harder for a layman to detect, and detection software still requires a trained analyst to interpret it. Are you proud of yourselves out there? Are you proud of what you've done, Internet?